there, great teen learners! Welcome again to another episode of Making Learning Mathematics Full of Fun and Excitement. I am Teacher Layette, and I will be your guide in this meaningful and fruitful adventure of Great Ten Mathematics. So before we start, let me remind you to stay focused and avoid distractions. Venture with me with your module number 5 and your pen and paper. So as we go through our lesson, we will be guided with the following objectives. Number 1, to define and illustrate the probability of an event. And the second one is to find the probability of simple events. To further understand the probability of an event, let us help here a friend, Maria, to solve her problem. Maria's favorite color is orange. Now, a certain bookstore is having an iPad giveaway. They put all the iPad shuffles in a bag. Customers may choose an iPad without looking at the color. Inside the bag are four orange, five blue, six green, and five pink iPads. If Maria chooses one iPad at random, what is the probability she will choose an orange iPad? Is there a probability or is there a chance that Maria can pick her favorite color? So we will be helping Maria later on to solve her problem as we go through our discussion. So as we proceed to our lesson, we will be encountering different terms used in probability and we have to unlock your knowledge first with the different terms used in probability. We have outcome. Outcome is one possible result of probability. Next, we have also sample space. The list of possible outcomes for a probability event. We have also random. Outcomes that occur at random if each outcome is equally likely to occur. We have also a simple event. A specific outcome or type of outcome. And we have complementary events. The events of one outcome happening and that outcomes not happening are complementary. The sum of the probabilities of complementary events is equal to 1. As you take a look at your card for the second quarter, is there a chance that you will be one of the academic achievers this school year? Or are you thinking of having a face-to-face -face completion this school year? Those are chances of an event will happen. And those chances are termed to be probability. So those are only examples of an event may happen or may not happen. And that is now what we term as probability. Some of the most common examples used in probability are dice, spinners, coins, deck of cards, the even and odd numbers, the alphabet, and others. We have also balls with different colors, candies, and others. We can make use of other examples also. And we can also solve the probability of an event using the formula. It is equal to probability of an event is equal to the ratio of the number of the favorable outcomes all over the number of possible outcomes. The probability of an event ranges from 0 to 1, meaning if it is impossible to happen, the probability is equal to 0 or 0%. Zero and also, if it is sure to happen or certain to happen, the probability is equal to 1, which is equal also to 100%. So let's have examples now. What if we are asked to find the probability of getting a 4 in rolling a die? So how many faces do we have? 
of Nidai, we have six faces. And how many number four is in Nidai? We have only one, which is number four in Nidai. So going back to our uh, definition a while ago, that the probability of an event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes all over the number of possible outcomes. So that is equal to how many four again in a die that is one and the faces of a die we have six. So that is equal to the probability of rolling a four in a die is equal to one on over six. Four that is one out of six. Example number two, still using a die. What if we are asked to find the probability of rolling or getting an even number if we are going to roll a die? So again, how many faces? We have six. And how many even numbers do we have in a die? We have two, four, and six. So we have three. So the probability of getting an even number if we are going to roll a die that is equal to 3 all over 6 and simplifying further 3 over 6 can be simplified into 1 half. Take note again great and learners we have to simplify our answers to the simplest form. How about the next example taking a look at the spinner is the probability of spinning green or getting green so we have four colors there you have yellow green red and blue so we have only one green in the spinner and how many divisions how many colors present we have four so therefore the probability of getting a green if we spin the spinner that is equal to one all over four you are correct Example number four, flipping a coin. What is the probability of flipping a tail or getting a tail if you flip a coin? How many faces again do we have? In a coin, we have two. And how many tail? We have one. So the probability of getting a tail if we flip a coin is equal to one half. Very good. So how about now using a deck of cards as our example? What is the probability of picking a heart from a deck of cards? We know that a deck of cards, the total number of cards, we have 52. And from that cards, we have the diamond, the heart, spade, and the flower. How many flowers or how many hearts are there from a deck of cards? We have 13. So that is equal to 13 all over 52. Or, simplifying it further, that is equal to 1 fourth. So, the probability of picking a card from a deck of cards is equal to 1 all over 4, or that is equal to 1 fourth. What if I ask you, what is the probability of picking a green card from a deck of cards? Is there a chance of picking up a green card from the deck of cards? Yes, you're correct. There is no possibility that we can pick a green card out of a deck of cards because we are having only two colors there. We have the red cards and the black cards. You are correct. Very good. Great and learners. So I guess you are ready now, great and learners, to answer this simple exercise. Take a look at the given spinner. We have number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, what if I ask you question number 1? What is the probability of spinning a black? Go. Yes, you are correct. Spinning a black or getting a black is equal to 1 half because we have 1, 2, 3, 4 black out of 8, so that is equal to 1 half. How about the next one? What is the probability of spinning a 1? We have your answer. Do we have the same answer? You are correct again. The answer is equal to 1 all over 8. Very good. How about the third one? Spinning an odd number if you are going to spin the spinner. What is the probability? 
go. Yes, very good. Great and learners. The answer is one half. We have the odd numbers are we have one, three, five, and seven. So that is four all over eight, or that is equal to one half. And the last one is what is the probability of the spinning a prime number? Go. What is your answer? We have also one half. What are the prime numbers? You have two, three, five, and seven. So that is if a. Uh, we have the prime numbers two, three, five, and seven. So that is equal to four all over eight, or equal to one half. Very good, three members. Congratulations! You fully understood our lesson for today. Job well done, great and learners. Always remember that the probability of an event is the chance that some event will happen. And it is equal also to the ratio of the number of ways a certain event can occur to the total number of possible outcomes. Now, we will try to answer also the given exercises. For letter A, Refer to the given spinner. We are asked to find for the probability of spinning a red, the probability of spinning a two, the probability of spinning not red, and the probability of spinning an even number. And also for letter B, take a look at the given problem here. Again, congratulations, great and learners, for a job well done. I guess you are ready now to answer your module number five. This is Teacher Liet again, your trouble buddy in exploring great and mathematics. See you again in our next journey.